five items that you must not collect from someone as a gift when someone gives you this item and you quickly realize that this item is what this person gave to you quickly return it back or reject it immediately that you don't receive such item and if you have received it and you noticed that is this is the item that this person is giving to you return it back to the person reason you should collect these five items from someone i will share on this video and reason why you should reject it i will also share with you on this video hello my beautiful people you're welcome on this channel we pray we share tips and messages, spiritual tips that will help you to grow spiritually, using natural things to get answers to your prayers. If this is the first time you are seeing my video, you are highly welcome. Please hit the right subscribe button to join the family. To my returning viewers, thank you so much for always stopping by and I love you all. Five items that you must not collect from someone when someone give you this item as a gift return it back to the person or you quickly reject it if you notice it immediately and these items are one knife or cutlass when you are doing any event you are doing any anniversary birthday or whatsoever and a friend or a neighbor or anybody that comes to that ceremony gives you cutlass or knife do not take it from the person do not collect it from the person reason you know knife is a sharp object it is meant for destruction the only thing you can use knife to do in your home in your kitchen is to cut something you use it to cut anything that you want to cut you need you need to kill whatsoever that you see that you don't like that you want to kill when you collect knife as a gift from someone you are collecting the energy of destruction in your family and when you take this you will start noticing that your family will start having issues your family will start having problems you start having misunderstanding in your family in most cases it leads to domestic abuse from your partner you see the man will start hitting the woman the woman will start hitting the man that is the negative impact of collecting knife or cutlass or any sharp object as a gift from someone unless you're a warrior and somebody give you sword as a gift you can take it because that is your field of speciality but if you're not a warrior you're not a fighter and somebody gives you sharp objects cutlass knife you know arrow gone as a gift do not take it from that person there are sort of negative energy that is transferred through that sharp object into your home and you start having destruction in your home in lot of negativities will start happening in your family the second one is match boss do not collect match boss from someone as a gift item from anybody from anyone yes the only thing that you can use matches to do is to light up light in your home maybe you want to cook you light up the light and use it to cook or you want to burn anything you light it and use it to burn whatever you want to burn you collecting it as a gift into your home whenever you are using it in your home you will notice that it looks as if there is fire in your family there will not be peace anymore there is catastrophe in your home because it comes with a vibration of negative burning energies and when that burning negative energy is transferred into your home, you will see that your home will be on fire. Nobody wants to listen to each other. Everybody is fighting themselves. There is always misunderstanding, quarry and fight in the home. That is as a result of the negative energy that comes through it. Do not take it from anybody. Do not even borrow it. Do not give it out to someone. In fact, do not collect. Do not borrow. Third one is tummy belts or waist belts most people don't know this but if you know this you will never collect belts tummy belts 
any belt from someone and if someone comes to collect your belt your tummy belt your waist belt from you and return it give it to the person dash it out to the person do not collect it from the person and you do not collect from person do not collect it as a gift item reason most women are barren today because of the tummy belt they have used a time past the one they borrow the one they collect the one they collect as gift and the one they borrow or the one they give to someone and someone after using it return it back to them in most cases they initiate it in one place or the other or in most cases someone gives you belt to use that belt is not ordinary belt some of them are snakes some of them are initiated in one place or the other and when they give it to you you after using it, most especially ladies, the tummy belt, after using it, you don't know what they have done to you. When you get married, you can never give birth. This tummy belt, I am not playing with it and I'm not joking with it. I am serious. I have witnessed. I have seen. I have been where it happens. And it's real life story. Where someone used tummy belt and the person becomes Barry all her life just using tummy belt that you can afford in the market. Four wig you go to market you see some people buying used wig wig that someone have used wig that you don't know the person that use it or you go and borrow someone's own to use you see this our head your head carries the crown your head represents your crown your head represents your glory most times when you buy used wig or you borrow wig from someone that can transfer your crown that can transfer your glory to his glory to her glory immediately you collect that wig from that person and use it your glory your star is transferred your crown is being collected in the spiritual realm every good thing that is supposed to be happening to you the level you are supposed to be in life everything will be transferred to the person that you borrowed wig from if you are the type that when you go to salon you want you want to go and make your head you bring your attachment, you drop it with them, and you ask them to prepare it. Tomorrow, you come and make the head. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Be there for them to prepare everything and make your head before you go. And if you go and lose your head, look for something and keep it. Sit and gather your hair and throw it away. Do not scatter your hair. Do not allow your hair to be scattered. It might even fall in the wrong hand and the person will use it against you you start suffering negative things will start happening in your life and you'll be wondering what is happening to me my life was not like this before how come things around me are changing then the fifth thing that you must not collect from someone as a gift item is what earring earring ring and earring these two most especially ladies ladies ring and earring do not collect it as a gift item do not collect it from someone do not give and later collect back there are ladies that are still single because because of the ring they collected from someone or you see someone someone sees your ring and loves it and say baby girl let me see and you collect the ring and give to the person the person wears it and give to you no it is not appropriate stop doing it stop sharing ring stop sharing earring stop collecting it from someone if you need it save it up and go and buy it from markets i must tell you this that most ladies single ladies everywhere today is as a result of earring and the ring most people in the spiritual realm they are wearing ring but in the physical realm their, their their finger is empty but when men the opposite sex six them physically they will notice the ring she is engaged and you remain engaged all your life that is why most people are single but they don't know that there is something wrong with them You collect a ring from the person, you just put it in your hand, your this this hand, you are you are engaged, you put it here, you are married all your life. They will see you, your opposite sex will see you, you are wearing wedding ring. Opposite sex will see you, you are wearing engagement ring. You don't know that you are wearing it. You are just looking for a man to say hi to you, and no man is saying hi to you. Because of the ring you collected from someone and wear.
because of the ring you borrowed from someone and wear because of the ring that someone gives to you as a gift and you are wearing it my dear if someone gives you a ring as a gift and you love the ring and you want to wear that kind of ring i advise you save up money take that ring go to the market look for that ring and buy something like that and start wearing it so that when the person sees you the person will not feel bad that i gave you gift you are not wearing it stop wearing ring that is given to you by someone else or that you borrowed from someone or someone borrowed it and return return it back to you all this has a, a lot of negative energy that is transferred into it before handing it to you and when you start using it those negative energy will start working in your life it will start preventing you from getting certain things that you are supposed to get in life